the cycloidal propeller, or vertical axis propeller, was proposed for aircraft over a century ago. As you can see by this film clip, an early aircraft with these propellers coming down a ramp. However, it didn't fare very well and didn't fly. This Darth Vader-like model represents the ultimate simplified flying machine. This aircraft, equipped with cycloidal propellers, can hover or fly in any direction simply by changing propeller blade pitches. It can even fly backwards as fast as it can forward. Another outstanding feature is that it's relatively quiet. Over the next few minutes, you will see several test units. Here we see a three-bladed demonstrator propeller. In this top view, you can see how the blades move to change flow directions. With the propeller running, note that the tassels on the poles and how they are blown outward by the airflow. By changing the pitch of the blades, you will notice that the tassels on the opposite side now are blowing out. This is our first active test unit mounted on a rotating arm utilizing a six-bladed propeller. An articulated extension was added to provide for up and down movements. With this unit, we were able to demonstrate the ease of changing from forward to backward movements, as well as the up and down movements. Again, you can see the rapid response to propeller pitch changes. As our test program progressed, we went to a free-floating counterbalanced arm that allowed for more freedom of movement of the aircraft. We were able to demonstrate for the first time movements in all directions, including hovering. The model shown here has two propeller systems and is radio controlled and powered by an electric motor. In our phase three testing, we are ready to make our first free flight using a seven foot diameter balloon as our test vehicle for safety reasons. The aircraft propeller unit was modified with an adapter plate on the top so that it could be attached to the balloon. The aircraft is powered by electric motor and is remotely controlled. We made the first successful flight of any aircraft using cycloidal propellers on December the 4th, 2001 in the Key Brothers hangar in Meridian, Mississippi. All flight objectives were accomplished. We were able to go up and make turns and change directions. As you can see in the film, that the directional changes were quite rapid. Here we are adopting the propeller unit to a 26 foot long blimp. The unit has been modified with two electric motors to take care of the larger displacement of the airship. This unit here is being ready to be installed into the gondola. Looking towards the tail of the ship, you can see that the two upper fins have been removed and the two lower fins have been 
stabilized so that they will are disconnected so that they are acting only as fins on the airship. All the control of the aircraft will be done through manipulating the propellers. Now you see that the propellers are installed on the gondola and that shortly we will be ready to make our first flights of the cycloid propelled airship using the propellers uh, for controls. That's a close-up of the unit. Okay, we're ready for flight. And here we are making our first flight inside the PV Electronics hangar at Keyfield and Meridian. This is a larger facility than where we flew before, but we needed the additional space. Here we are now showing the capabilities of the airship to being able to fly backwards and hover. We can climb. As you can see, we're going up. We'll be doing additional maneuvers. Uh, we'll be making turns with the ship as you right now is backing up, now it's coming forward. All these um, directional changes are made through cross controlling the propellers. You can see the rapid response as the airship backs up. We're going through various maneuvers. Again, the capability of backing up. Now we're coming forward and we'll be making a turn using the cross controlling the propellers. It would have been a lot easier to have a third propeller in the tail. I think it's dramatic to show that we can make the turns just using the two propellers. Yeah, that turn is complete. And as a conclusion, we'll show the ship flying off into the sunset.